Thank you, Charlotte, North Carolina. How you feel about it? My name is Jason Page. I am the voice of a generation, as indicated on my voice of a generation. Gold trainer cards. No, thank you, Jason Page. Guys, you know I'm always honest for better or worse, and uh, as much crap as Jason Page gets on the internet, especially by people like a possum bud, and even myself, I'm gonna be honest, at Collecticon, Jason Page kind of killed it. You know, things were, you know, hmm, 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 and then Jason Page took the stage. He definitely did a good job riling the people, and, you know, part of me wonders why he keeps getting invited over and over back to these things, but, like, he really does do a good job. For what he does, he does a good job. Jason Page, I'm giving you credit, man. Now, guys, if you have not seen my last upload, this one right here, this video you're watching right now, this weekly raw card Pokemon card video, I did one last week. I'm doing one right now. I'm going to do another one next week. I'm basically saying my last upload is once-in-a-lifetime shit. This video pales in comparison. This upload matters not in the grand scheme of things, whereas my last upload is, to be honest, I take zero credit for it, one of the most epic uploads I will ever, ever upload. And I may never get the opportunity to bring you guys that level of just unique, amazing, holy grail content ever again. So TCA Gaming, Rusty, Russell Oakley, you guys have got to watch my last upload if you have not already, I will link it at the end of this video. And to be honest, I could care less if you leave abort now and just go watch that video because it is that spectacular of a jaw dropping, just an embarrassment of riches, essentially. Okay, so uh, on that note, from my golden ticket uh, day at the Cabal 2024, I will release four, no, that, that's three. That's three, not four. I will release three total videos. One you already saw, which is the uncut sheet video. And then the next video, I'm going to give you a preview for right now. So basically, I found a giant Tupperware box with about $450,000 worth of booster boxes in it. And I just took out all the booster boxes. I threw them on the table. And then Rusty came over and I was like, Hey, Rusty, could you identify every single one of these off the top of your head? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, we should probably record that. So there you go. There's your preview for the next video. And then all I'm going to do other than that is just a, an uncut, longer video that shows all kinds of fun stuff from basketball to just everything that we did on that Friday, last Friday, the day before Collecticon. All right, guys. So first of all, right off the bat, let's get into last week's Pokemon cards because that is what we do here is we like to track things on a week-to-week -week basis. And anything that has carried over and continued in momentum, we keep track of that. So, for example, you see right here on last week's Cards on the Rise, Kieran SIR from Twilight Masquerade. You see four numbers there. Why do you see four numbers? That means Kieran went up enough three weeks ago to be on three weeks ago's hottest cards of the week. But then two weeks ago, Kieran went up to $56.50. That's why it's written in green. And then last week, Kieran went up to $59.17. Now this week, finally, for the first time in like a month almost, Kieran has slowed down and in fact gone down to $55.79. Just so you know, if you're not familiar with uh, these videos, that is what all the numbers are for. Any car that continues to go up in price week after week after week, We'll put another green number there. The second it goes flat or turns red, it falls off and it will no longer appear next week. That is how this little board right here works. So Armored Mewtwo SM228, up to $80.21 last week. It has continued to go up. It is now at $83.59. Eevee Unigaba. So $23.21 last week, continued to go up. Now it's $23.98. That's not a huge increase. I would usually keep that white and have Eevee fall off, except here's the thing. The lowest available for Eevee is $28, so I have a feeling 
we're not done with the Unigaba EV, so I wanted to make sure to keep it on this list for next week so we can see what it does next week. Drowsy IR, falling off. Lana's 8 SIR, now that's three weeks in a row, all the way up to $43.55. Reggie Drago V Star and Reggie Drago V Star Seeker Rare, the two cards I told you are shooting up in price because people need them for worlds. They have continued to skyrocket. Reggie Drago V Star is $14.69 now, whereas Reggie Drago V Star Seeker Rare is now almost $20. Okay. Everything else is going to fall off the list except for Plusle. So Plusle is up to $13.84. And now, guys, Charmeleon. So, Charmeleon, I wrote, I warn you, because of this reason right here like this okay well obviously something's going on here so you go over to sales because i saw that so i was like i need to go see the sales then so what you see here is right here someone yes today forty dollars thirty eight dollars thirty eight dollars thirty seven dollars thirty seven dollars thirty seven dollars forty dollars so as you can see, just in the last two days, a $40, a $37, another $37, a $38, a $38, a $40. So basically someone is trying to inflate the price of this card by buying cards that are almost double its value, and it's working. So, you know, Charmeleon is up big, but I can assure you that is because there are just some very high near mint sales that are unnecessarily occurring. Well, all the while, you could still get this card for $20 to $21, so I would be very careful with Charmeleon, okay? And so, yeah, pretty much uh, there was so many just inflated sales of Charmeleon. I told you guys, like, look, this is BS, and it turns out it was BS. So Charmeleon is way, way back down. And uh, last week's best price banger, which we always save to the end of the video, was Charizard V-Star Secret Rare from Brilliant Stars. And that is basically right around the exact same price it was last week so first of all before we begin as a general rule of thumb when a set releases on a friday that following week we are not going to allow any cards from the brand new set to be on this list it would be absolutely silly to talk about this week's hottest cards when they're cards that have just came out in the last four or five days so there will be no shrouded fable on this list and guys this is the longest I have ever taken to put together a weekly raw Pokemon card video. And, I mean, we're talking, it took me a couple hours just to find what few cards I could. I think we're going to cover seven different cards, and I usually shoot for like 15. Um, and part of that is because it's the week following a brand new set release. And basically, the week after the Friday that a set comes out, there's just so much attention being paid to the new, the new set that everything else that's not that new set kind of just not not a hundred percent of the time just in general kind of stays in limbo and doesn't move very much the week following a new set release now next week i can assure you there will be much more than seven cards on next week's hottest card because one shrouded fable will be on the list but two some other cards will start to get some more volume some more transactions again and it won't be hundred percent shrouded fable but all right here we go so Raichu from Paldea is starting to make some moves again. So if you look right here, we got Raichu uh, on, on about, what was that, a week and a half ago, 30, 40 bucks. Raichu's up to $47.32, but we definitely need to look at the six month because Raichu's been up pretty high in the past, right? Well, guess what? 43. Is this an all-time high? Of course it is. Raichu is at an all-time high, guys, from Paldea. All right, let's move on. I want to make this one nice and short, so we're going to go quick here. So, Blasted Boy, SIR from 151, doing pretty well this week. We got the low on the month around 42, and here we are at basically 52. Let's go ahead and look right there. You see 5061 on the three month, but we're at 5175 near mint. Guys, TCG players doing this weird stuff over the last few weeks where a lot of graphs default to light play or even damaged in some occasions so just make sure you are confirming you're looking at near mint charts when you're on tcg player i'm just throwing that out there so look on the six month we got 5175 and on the one year obviously it's not an all-time high this card's been as high as 5662 
but on the one month and the three month, it is looking very good and definitely trending upwards on the one month. Hey, <laughs> blasty boy. So last week we talked about Plusle going up big time. And I specifically told you uh, when I talked about Plusle that I noticed Minum was not going up. Well, guess what? It's a new week and things change on a weekly basis in this hobby. And now Minum, it's Minum's turn to follow Plusle. Now Minum's up huge. So yeah, last week when I looked at it, it was like this. Like Minum was not doing what Plusle's doing. But here we are a week later, and what do you know? Minum is now at an all-time high. So Plusel and Minum from Payrift, my favorite, are absolutely both going up now. And then speaking of Payrift, this is my favorite hyper rare from last year, the Garchomp EX, mainly because of its teeth. It's so sparkly, like this card is so sparkly in the tiny little sparkles around his mouth and his eyes when you really look at the card. It's, it's good, I'm just being honest. Plus Garchomp's super awesome. So yeah, Garchomp on the three month, you can see there. So first of all, it's a, it's a almost $11 card now. One month looks wonky, but um, that's actually kind of accurate. But if you look at the three month, the six month, and the one year, it kind of tells a better story here. So the one year, it's after release, you see 1040, right? Where are we at? 1096. So we're essentially at, are we at an all-time high? No, we got 12. So if it cracks over 1284, like if this card hits 13, well, that would be impressive but yeah on the three month and one month this card is looking really good and to be honest it's just a beautiful hyper rare so it is what it is speaking of hyper rares except now temporal forces gouging fire and unlike walking wake from two weeks ago that was being manipulated um i looked at these sales and this seemed way more organic growth there is this one 25 dollars sale right there uh, but other than that it's pretty it's pretty legit there's not too much funky stuff going on, but uh, it, it is at $14.69, so high on the one, high on the three. $16.33 on uh, April, 50, in the middle of April, so $16.53 is its all-time high, but it is up from $9 on the three month. It's doing very well. Bang. All right, guys, now this is the crazy one. Greninja. So Greninja EX. First of all, make sure we got Near Mint. Okay, Near Mint's highlighted. Okay. Now, now look, Near Mint Hollow Foil. So here's the one month. We're sitting at $289.19. Okay. Everything's looking up. Everything's looking up. Okay. Okay. But look, check the just check this out. $352.69, two copies, the last two recorded sales on TCG Player, literally, we're at the top here, $352.69, and if you go down, 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 right here, on 8.4, just a few days ago, $350. Now, one thing I can tell you guys is I looked through every single sale all the way down to release. I, I actually did. And this is definitely those three sales of $350, and more specifically, these two most recent sales are the highest this card has ever sold for raw. So, I don't even know what to say other than to make a Tim Allen voice. Uh, yeah, so this card has sold three copies at 350 bucks. Um, it's inflating the price, of course, quite a little bit. But yeah, so its market is 289. Uh, let's see available. Let's see lowest available. It's looking like 273 because this is, yeah, that's Japanese, of course. So 273 near mint is your lowest available. And then 280, 284. But again, it has sold as high as 350 a couple of times. All right, we are already almost done. I'm just gonna talk about uh, one more card that's not an SV card, and then we're gonna get into uh, a couple playable cards you can make some money on right now, right before Worlds, and then we'll round it off with that best price banger. All right, so Team Aqua Kyogre EX. So Team Aqua Kyogre EX. This card's doing really well. It's $126.77. So it's just kind of, it's it's one of those cards that doesn't sell a ton, but when you look at it, you can just see everything's very gradually going upwards. Like, look at that. Woo! And is this not one of the coolest, like, look at that Survivor. 
Like, there's a lot of cool and a little Sharpedo, Kyogre, da 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 da. It's cool. It's very cool. <laughs> it's very cool. I really like this card. And I did check Groudon, uh, Team Magma's Groudon. It's sitting pretty flat. Yeah, it's like 100 bucks per use. Um, but yeah, so this one's looking really, really good. Let's take a look at some sales real quick. So 200, look at this. So just really quickly look at the numbers on this versus when I scroll down. You have 200, 263, 180, 170, 150, 200, 350, right? But then you just go down here and you see a ton of lower 100 sales. Ton of lower 100 sales. So just in, just in general, tons of lower sales, whereas tons of higher sales. So there. And all right, some some uh, a couple cards you can make some money on. So this isn't anything crazy, but if you have been opening Shrouded Fable, you might find some Night Stretchers in your bulk for every four you get. That's a play set, and you could probably sell those for about three fifty or maybe four bucks on eBay or wherever you sell your cards. Its market price is ninety six cents, um, and who knows? It could be one of those cards that I don't know. I just know it's one of the few playable bulk cards that you can pull out of Shrouded Fable. And then uh, last but not least, <clears throat> I know I said I wouldn't have any Shrouded Fable on, but you know, it's, it's not a hot card. It's a card to hurry up and sell and make money on. Um, and here's another one, Pheasantipity. So people need Pheasantipity ASAP for Worlds coming up next week. So because of that, Pheasantipity is up to $11.42. Um, I have a feeling after Worlds, this price will probably tank at least slightly. Um, so yeah, consider selling your Pheasantipities now if you have them. Alright, so let's get to uh, the best price banger. I'll be honest with you guys, this is my least confident best price banger. This is what it is. So that's Snorlax, Secret Rare from Chili Willy. So this card is very visually impressive. It's very bold, very bold when you look at it in person. It's a, a beautiful gold card, absolutely. Um, but yeah, it's, it's at $64.92. As you can see on the one month, it's down three month you can see it's just nothing but down from a six month here and that's where things start to get interesting all right so you see 64 61 it's almost exactly the price it's at right now you see that but then check this out yeah double shark fins so here's the thing like i said 64 61 and we're at 64 92 you zoom in a little and the thing is you know as far as near mint it is holding pretty well over 60 you know, it's got 65, 65. You know, here's an 80 not too long ago. And so I went over to price charting because I really wanted to see if I could figure out the lowest this card's ever been. And I, I found 52, but keep in mind, uh, price charting takes into account like uh, damage, like here's nicked corner. You know, this is showing everything. Here's corner damage. So you do on price charting have as far as low as 52. Whereas here, as far as a uh, TCG player near mint price, you know, on the one year it's showing the lowest isn't 52, it's showing the lowest is 64. So I would assume somewhere between 52 and 64. But at the same time, long term, who doesn't feel good about this card long term, right? So I'm just saying this might be a good time to scoop up this chubby, chilly, willy Snorlax gold seeker air. All right. And that is pretty much all we wrote for this week's hottest Pokemon cards, guys. Uh, real quick, before I leave, um, yeah, stay tuned for some more incredible content that I take zero credit for. It's all TCA's fault. I don't know why he uh, let me go into his place and film everything. Coolest dude, nicest dude ever. If you're on IG and you notice I have two Instagrams now, well, for those of you that have followed me for a while, you know I got banned on Instagram around Christmas time of last year. One of you, I'm not going to say who, but one of the, one of you viewers messaged me um, and said, Hey, I'm a fan of your channel. My buddy's super high up at Meta. I could probably help you get your account back. And then sure enough, two days later, my account just reappears. And now I have two Instagrams. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but uh, it is what it is. All right, guys, again, uh, in the next day or two, I will be uploading the base set booster box variants video. And then I will be uploading another video just documenting Collecticon and in my day at Rusty's. Alright guys, that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. Deuces.